children all of us love mango don't we what happens in you when you see the mango yes we feel mouth smacking when we see a juicy mango how it happens why do you feel so how this action happens this action is a natural response of all human beings the mango which we see is the stimuli and smacking our mouth is the response stimulus is something that causes a response here the mango which is the stimuli is creating a response of our mouth smacking the response is a reaction to an event here the response is the mouth smacking let me give you another example children look at this kettle the kettle is hot what happens when you touch it yes you will remove your hand immediately here the stimulus is the heat and removing your hand due to heat is the response similarly birds and animals also respond to stimuli they keep moving around and respond to environmental stimuli environmental stimuli like weather shelter food etc make the birds and animals to move around the stimulus is something that causes a physiological response students let me ask you one question do you think that the plants respond to the environmental stimuli do they move like birds and animals yes plants respond to the environmental stimuli and they can also move dear children in this video we are going to discuss and learn about the types of tropism in plants what is mean by tropism tropism is a growth movement the direction of which is determined by the direction of the stimuli children tropism is a kind of growth movement like turning bending coiling towards or away from some kind of stimuli for example if you keep a plant in a pot and place it near the window the plant starts growing towards the path of the sunlight the plant bends towards the sunlight this movement is known as tropism now let's see the types of tropism phototropism geotropism or gravitropism hydrotropism thigmotropism and chemotropism phototropism what is mean by phototropism unidirectional movement of plant pot to light stimulus is called phototropism unidirectional movement is nothing but the growth of a plant in a same direction students please look at this example here we can see a plant moving towards the sunlight and we could observe that the stimulus is the sunlight this process is called phototropism heliotropism heliotropism is also a kind of phototropism where the motion of plant pods like flowers and leaves in response to the direction of the sunlight geotropism or gravitropism what is mean by geotropism geo or gravity refers to the force of attraction towards the earth the plants also respond to gravity and it is termed as geotropism or gravitropism the growth of a plant pods in response to the force of gravity is called geotropism or gravitropism for example when a plant is grown in a pot placed horizontally you can see the shoot of a plant grows upwards so 
the shoot is negatively geotrophic whereas the roots will grow downwards towards the ground due to gravity here we can see the stimulus is the gravity so the root is positively geotrophic stimulus is gravity gravity is the force of attraction towards the earth let's see about hydrotropism hydro refers to water the movement of plant pots in response to water is known as hydrotropism it is a tendency to grow or to reach towards the area with moisture content here you could see the roots are moving towards the water this movement is known as hydrotropism now let's move on to another tropism thigmotropism now here you must understand thigmo means touch climbing vines have to find a suitable support shortly after germination once the shoot touches a stem it grows towards the surface it is touching this is called thigmotropism here is an example for you it is a creeper you can see the trophic movement of the creeper bending turning or coiling around the stem but can you think what is the stimulus which gives it a reflex until the creeper reaches the support nearby there is no bending as soon as it touches you can notice that there is a turning bending and coiling around it that is thigmo here it's very clear that based on its touch thigmotropism movement happens chemotropism chemo refers to chemicals growth or movement of a plant in response to chemical stimuli is called chemotropism the fertilization of a plant is the best example for chemotropism during the fertilization the pollen tube grows down the style in response to the sugars in the ovary here this dots are the secreting chemicals so this movement of the pollen tube towards the ovary is chemotropism let's recap phototropism movement towards sunlight geotropism movement towards gravity hydrotropism movement towards water thigmotropism movement in response to touch chemotropism movement in response to chemicals students can you answer my questions what is phototropism unidirectional movement of plant to light stimulus is called phototropism what is hydrotropism the movement of plant pots in response to water is known as hydrotropism what is chemotropism growth or movement of a plant in response to chemical stimuli is called chemotropism what is geotropism the plants also respond to gravity and it is termed as geotropism or gravitropism can you tell what is thigmotropism the trophic movement that helps the climbing vines to find suitable support is called thigmotropism children hope you enjoyed this lesson in the next class i will come up with some other interesting topic thank you